Hello, my dear students. I I hope you all are safe at your home. Whenever you go outside, don't forget to wear mask and avoid going crowded places in these difficult times. Now I am here to teach you the second part of the lesson, the portrait of a lady, written by Pushyam Singh. It's a biographical short story. Through this story, Pushyam Singh depicts his relationship with his grandmother. In the previous class, we have seen the appearance of the old lady. That means his grandmother. She was short, fat, and bent. The author says that she was like a winter landscape covered with snow. At the end of the paragraph, then we have seen she was a symbol of peace and contentment. Now, let's see the second, third paragraph. All of you take your literature reader, page number 4. My grandmother and I were good friends. My grandmother and Pushwan Singh, they were good friends. My parents left me with her when they went to live in the city and we were constantly together. Then my parents left me with her. My parents left me with her when they went to live in the city. Pushwan Singh's parents went to live in the city. Then during that time, they left him to live with his grandmother. She used to wake me up in the morning and get me ready for school. She used to wake me up in the morning. She used to help me to do all these things. What are the things? She used to wake me up in the morning and get me ready for school. She used to wake him up in the morning and help him to go to school. She said her morning prayer in a monotonous sing song while she bathed and dressed me in the hope that I would listen and get to know it by heart. Then she said her, she chanted her morning prayer while she bathed and dressed with him with a hope that he would by heart the morning, morning prayer. In the hope that I would listen and get to know it by heart. I listened because I loved her voice but never bothered to learn it. Then he listened well because he loved her voice but never tried to by heart it. Then she would fetch my wooden slate which she had already washed and plastered with yellow chalk, a tiny earthen ink pot and a red pen, tie them all in a bundle and hand it to me. Then after doing all these things, she arranged his bag and, and everything and handed over to him. After the breakfast of thick, stale chapati with a little butter and sugar spread on it, we went to school. She carried several stale chapatis with her for the little dogs. Then both of them, after doing all these things, then both of them, went to school. During that time, she carried several stale chapatis. Stale here means not fresh. Uh, no, uh, stale chapatis with her for the village dogs. Then while they were going, she took several stale chapatis for the village folk. Then what we learned through this paragraph, grandmother Kushan Singh and his grandmother, they were good friends. When, they, when, uh, when his parents went to live in the city, they left to him with his, with, uh, with his grandmother. Then uh, she always she used to help him to do all these things. She uh, woke him up early in the morning and bathed him and dressed with him. During that time, she chanted the morning prayer with a hope that he would buy her everything. He listened, Kushal Singh listened because she, he loved her new, new uh, sub voice but never tried to buy her it. Then after doing all these things, he arranged his slate, pen and everything and handed over to him. Then while after the breakfast, while they were going, she took several stale chapatis with him for the street dogs. Then listen to the next paragraph. My grandmother always went to school with me because the school was attached to the temple. My grandmother always went to school with me. That means he grandmother also went to the school with him because the school was attached to the temple. That means the school was attached to the temple. So his grandmother also went to the school. The priest taught us the alphabet and the morning prayer. The priest taught the children the alphabet and the morning prayer. The priest taught us the alphabet and the morning prayer. While the children sat in rows on either side of the veranda, singing the alphabet or the prayer in a chorus, my grandmother sat inside reading the scriptures. Then while they were learning, while the children were learning, then what did, uh, what did she do? She sat inside the temple and chanted the holy books and reading the holy books. When we had both finished, we would walk back together. When we had both finished, when they finished, they came back 
they to came they came back to their home when we heard both finish we would walk back together this time the village folk would meet us at the temple door uh, that during that time while they were coming back the village folk would meet meet us at the temple door they followed us to our home the village during that time the village folk followed them to their home growling and fighting with each other for the chapas this we threw it to them then what did she do that while they were going she took several stale chapatis when they were coming back she threw it to the village dogs for the chapatis we threw it to them then she threw that stale chapatis to the village dogs listen my grandmother also went to the school with him the because the school was attached to a, uh, attached to a temple the priest taught them alphabet and the morning time morning prayer during that time his grandmother sat inside and uh, uh, sat inside and read morning uh, holy books then when they finished both of them were, were both of when both of them were finished they came back together during that time the uh, she threw the stale chapatis to the village dogs during that time she threw the stale chapatis to the village dogs listen Uh, the next paragraph. When my parents were comfortably settled in the city, they sent for us. When the when the when his parents comfortably settled in the city, they sent for us. The grandmother and Kushal Singh also went there. That was a turning point in our friendship. That was a turning point in their friendship. The friendship between Kushal Singh and grandmother. Although we shared the same room, my grandmother no longer came to school with me. they shared the same room but grandmother no longer came to school with him i used to, to go to an english school then when they reached in city then she used to, to go to an english school so his grandmother no longer came to school with him i used to, to go to an english school in a motor bus there were no dogs in the street and she took to feeding sparrows in the courtyard of our city house there were no dogs in the street dogs in the city so she used to, to feed the sparrows in the courtyard of our city house so my grandmother grandmother and kushal singh they went to school together because there was a temple attached to the school the the priest taught the children the alphabet and the morning prayer during that time the the old lady sat inside and reading holy books when they finished they came back together during that time the street dog followed them and she through the stale chapatis to the when when his parents settled in the city the old lady and kushal singh went to the city then both of them shared the same room in the city but the grandmother no longer go to school no longer came to school with him there uh, there were no street dogs in the city so she used to feed the sparrows in the courtyard then today we have seen uh, three paragraph Ma, then what are the things we learned from uh, today the kushal singh and grandmother they were good friends when they when the uh, when the other's parents went to the city they left to him with his grandmother the grandmother used to help him to do uh, get, to get ready for the school while she bathed and dressed uh, dressed to him she chanted the morning prayer with a hope that he would buy her it Kushal Singh listened it because he loved her voice, but never tried to learn it. Then after that, he arranged everything for the school slate, bag, uh, pen, and everything. Both of them went to the school. Then during that time, she took several stale chapatis with him, uh, with her, uh, to the street dogs. Both of them went to the school together. Why? Then there was a tem the temple attached to the uh, school. So while uh, the priest taught the children alphabet and the morning prayer, the old lady sat inside and sat inside and reading the holy books. When they finished, both of them came back together. During that time, the she threw the stale chapatis to the village do village dogs. When the parents settled in the city, they both of them went to the city and settled there. the grandmother uh, kushal singh and grandmother shared the same room but no longer she uh, went to school with him in the city school is an english uh, english english school but there was no uh, there were no street dogs in the city so she used to, to feed the sparrows in the courtyard then i think all of you understand listen once more the story the portrait of a lady written by kushal singh then uh, it's a biographical short story through the story the author Uh, depicts his relationship his with his grandmother the grandmother 
uh, his grandmother was short, fat, and bent. Then she was like a winter landscape covered with snow. That means she was a symbol of peace. Grandmother and Kushan Singh, they were good friends. Then his parents went to the city. Went to the city during that time. They left him with her, uh, with his grandmother. Grandmother always helped him to do everything. While, uh, while uh, she was uh, bathing and dressing him during that time, she chanted the morning prayer with a hope that he would buy her within a short time. She listened because she, he loved her voice but never tried to buy her. Then she arranged everything and both of them went to school together. Why? There was a school, there was a temple near the school. That uh, the pre while the priest taught the children alphabet and the morning prayer, the lady, the old lady sat inside the temple and reading the holy books. Then while they were going, that she took some stale chapatis with, uh, with them to give to the street dogs. When they were coming back together, the uh, she threw the street uh, stale chapatis to the street dogs. Then when the, when his parents were settled in uh, the city. The old lady and Kushan Singh also went there. Then you, the, there also they shared the same room, but the lady did not go to school with him uh, because it's an English school. Then there were no street dogs in the city, so she used to feed the sparrows in the courtyard. I think all of you understand this lesson. Do one thing. All of you read the lesson and I will send you the notes through WhatsApp. Thank you all.